appears when you don't have it but um, basically you can see that we get to select you know most of the main things so um, I'm just gonna select a former human because we don't really want to make these um, monsters too powerful on the first level this over here is my dial um, that will tell it which way it is facing when it's spawned and here are some cer some certain things you can do if you tell it that it's deaf then if you're firing over here and if it can hear then it's automatically going to come through this doorway and it's going to you know come and attack you but if we make it deaf then it, it won't do that but uh... i'm gonna leave it there because it's default alright i'm just gonna add another guy right here so we got these two guys I'm gonna add one over here just for fun and I'm gonna add a gun, a weapon in the middle here. And I'm just gonna make this uh, just for fun. I'm just gonna make this the. Uh, I guess I'll just make it the shotgun, cause that's pretty simple. Um, all right. So now we added the shotgun. So let's go ahead and play this and give this a try. Alright, so as you saw, we were able to have the monsters die and everything went good. Alright. Alright, now. So we've added some things, some basic things, and uh, everything's looking pretty good. I'm going to go over the things mode once more, and I'm going to right click here, and I'm going to add some ups um, some things you know to decorate you know the area so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a barrel and uh, if we click play we have a barrel boom all right Now, let's go ahead and do a little bit of lighting. Um, if you go over here and you select the brightness tool, you will see that you can select sectors um, and right click and move the number down or up. This number represents the brightness of that area. So how about we go ahead and move this brightness down to 96. on all of these. Let's pretend that this hallway, you know, it's getting really dark slowly here. Pretty dark. Move that down maybe to 100 and well, 100 about 104. Leave that as is because it's so bright anyways. Move that down just a little bit. Now, um one thing we can do is if we go over here and we go to the lines and we go ahead and add a box here I'm gonna edit this in a second here I'm gonna go to my vertice mode select this corner this corner select over here and select over here and what I'm gonna do here is go to my brightness again right click on these bring them down even farther pretty good and then I'm going to go to 3D mode, and you can see it's kind of dark here. Um, but we're going to right click on this wall over here, go to side depths, and we're going to go down, scroll down. Actually, I'm going to go and search. I guess it doesn't like that. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Lights. Spelled wrong. Great. Um, anyways, I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and click play. So as you can see, it's darker over here, very dark, very, very dark over here, slowly getting darker when we go in there, it's pretty cool. Open it up. Um, as you can see, it appears as if this light over here is affecting this area. Not very realistic because the light's going in, but you get the, the concept, I would have set this up differently, but this is just a tutorial. But as you can see, it looks, you know, pretty cool.
Alright. Now these lights aren't doing anything, so let's have them do something. Let's go ahead and select on sector mode and right click on these here. Oops. Sector mode. And what we can do is go to effects and we can go to light blinks randomly or light bring light blinks every 0 0.5 seconds. So I'll say OK and I'm going to click on the main one and I'm going to do the same thing and then I'm going to go ahead and say OK play. So as you can see the lights are kind of blinking now. Um, so now we, you know, put in some nice lights, some nice effects. Um, next, I'm going to put in another room over here, which is going to be Nukage. So I'm going to go back to my vertice mode, and I'm going to insert, insert, bring these two out, insert, insert, bring this out like this. Then I'm going to bring, actually, I'll insert, insert, bring these up here, bring these up here going to create a line right here clean up this right here go to my brightness level bring it up a lot here go into 3d mode let's go over here right click on the bottom here go to floor I'm going to go ahead and do nukage I'm going to go to the effect and the effect is going to be damage negative five damage every second I'm gonna go ahead and load up the map you got that up there but you can also see we have some nukage and when we stand in it we get hurt Well, okay, so we can add some more detail to this by simply moving this down, right clicking on this wall here, and you know, selecting something to kind of fill it out. And then it looks like it's, you know, like embedded in here, so it's, you know, down here a little bit. And there's a lot of cool things we can do um, with the engine, really. Um, you know, we could add like a line here, just go like this bam, 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 bam. Um, move around a little bit, go over here, bring this up like that, right click here, go to side def, this, control C, paste, 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 go up here, go to ceiling, uh, grab sky, say OK, load up the game, go over here, Look up, we can see the skies out there. So, there's a lot of potential for this game engine. So anyways, um, that's my basic tutorial on how to get started um, editing uh, Doom. Um, I'll uh, go over some other things, including how to use the WAD editor in my next tutorial. This tutorial was just uh, getting started modding, so basically it was m mainly focused on uh, basic uh, mapping and uh, next tutorial I'll probably do the WAD editing and then some other tutorial I'll do advanced uh, map editing. Anyways, this has been an Archimand tutorial. Thanks for watching.